What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before I start today's topic, I want to thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate it. I know that I'm not the best YouTuber out there, but I'm going to continue to get better and try to give you guys the great content you deserve. So on today's video, we're going to be talking about Sun Wukong, also known as the Monkey King. The legendary mythical figure best known as one of the main characters in the 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West. Sun Wukong is probably, no, it's the most OP character ever. Forget Superman, forget Goku. When we talk about broken characters in fiction, he's at the top of the list. The Monkey King is born from a strong magical stone that sits atop the mountain of flowers and fruit. And it's not just some ordinary stone. This stone is nurtured from heaven and earth. He was obsessed with life so much that his mission was to live forever. Wukong was able to master the technique of 72 transformations, and this ability allowed him to have 72 lives. So basically, if someone wants to kill him, they have to kill an immortal god 72 times. Bruh. And on top of that, some Wukan ate a fruit called the Heaven's Peaches. Each peach grants whoever eats it immortality. He could have just eaten one and lived forever, but he decided he wanted to eat the whole tree. He's so obsessed with life, he took his own name out of the Book of Death. So he's unkillable, giving him layers upon layers of immortality. On his journey to the west, Wukong reaches Nirvana. No, not those Nirvana, this Nirvana. For those who don't know what Nirvana is, it's basically a way of existence, to be at perfect peace and happiness. Achieving Nirvana, Sun Wukong transcends absolutely everything, becoming a boundless entity with no limitations. You're probably thinking to yourself, this guy is so OP, who can stop him? But guess what, there's more. Sun Wukong actually transcends Nirvana, gaining all the powers of Buddha and becoming an omnipotent being. And the only way to stop him was Buddha himself. Buddha wasn't able to stop Sun Wukong. All he could do was seal him away for good. Now let's talk about some of Sun Wukong's abilities. As far as strength goes, he was able to lift an infinite, expanding Milky Way galaxy. Wukong is also omnipresent, meaning he's everywhere all at once. He's also nigh omniscient, which means he knows nearly everything that needs to be known. And probably one of the most broken abilities I've ever seen. Every strand of hair on Wukong's body, 84,000 to be exact, can transform into anything he wishes. Meaning, he can make 84,000 copies of himself, and every one of those 84,000 copies can make 84,000 copies of themselves, doing it over and over again, basically making infinite copies, and yes, every single copy is as strong as the original Song Wukong. Bruh. Also, every single one has multiple layers of immortality that you have to kill 72 times each just to get rid of him. And to put the cherry on top, he can become as strong as anyone he's facing. Sun Wukong is what inspired Toriyama to make Goku. So if in the future, Goku becomes this unbeatable immortal god, just know where the inspiration came from. All right guys, that's the video for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I was really surprised on how powerful Sun Wukong really is while researching him. I knew he was strong, but damn, I didn't know he was this strong. And the footage you've been seeing is from the game Black Myth Wukong. It's a third person game that's coming out, I think, next year. And I can't wait for this game, man. That, that's a day one buy for me. So yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Also, leave a like and a comment. It really helps the channel a lot. Um, I have a lot more videos coming your way. So until next time, it's been Ultra Fresh Reviews. I'm out.